Now, Fox 13 Chief Meteorologist Paul Delegato with your Sky Tower Radar forecast. And you know, I tell you, the cool thing about meteorology is you, you always see stuff and you go, hmm, I've seen that in a while. This is kind of interesting. And, and tonight it's interesting. But outside, it's windy and it's chilly. I mean, we got a tropical storm on our doorstep. And it's 66 degrees with a cold rain. And this is a function of the fact that it's November. I mean, it's still, regardless if we get a storm out there, it's still November. And you get a north wind and it rains, it's going to be chilly. And that's the case right now. In fact, temps in the western part of the state are in the 60s, closer to Nicole, where it's more tropical, it's in the 70s. And the dew points here are more winter like. And on the east coast, they're more tropical. So obviously this kind of what's going to happen here is essentially Nicole will bring with it just kind of a whole tropical environment that will pass over the state and then move northwest up towards the panhandle. The satellite presentation tonight, eh, I mean, you can definitely see a broad eye. In fact, the diameter of the eye at night is, is 50 miles in diameter. It's not tight. It's not compact. So this is not an organizing or intensifying hurricane. And a lot of the deeper convection is kind of way up here with some lightning. So this is not, again, not an intensifying hurricane. And in no way, shape, or form is this another Ian at all. Uh, it will make landfall in a few hours on our east coast. It is causing significant coastal flooding and beach erosion on the east coast. And then just the mass of rain and increase in winds begins to move across the peninsula later tonight and tomorrow. So all of this weather here and here is we'll just extrapolate it and we'll just kind of move it over here and that's going to be coming our way we'll have occasional rain bands a lot of you in citrus county and in pasco and hernando will probably have more wind from nicole than you did from ian because you're going to be kind of in the northern part up here where some of the winds are strongest now the entire state has wind gusts over 25 uh, west palm is 40 vero 38 uh, Daytona 38. These winds will pick up as kind of the core or the eye wall. Certainly, I don't really have an eye wall, but as it approaches the coast, those winds will pick up. So here's the 10 o'clock advisory, 75 miles east northeast of West Palm. We'll put into motion the west northwest motion has begun. 7 a.m. tomorrow, it's somewhere over central Florida as a 65 mile an hour tropical storm. That does not imply that all around here there's going to be 65 mile an hour winds. It just indicates that is the maximum wind. I think most areas around Tampa Bay will have about 30 to 50 with the strongest winds actually maybe up here and towards Ocala and our northern counties just the way the storm is moving and I showed you on satellite those big areas of convection north of the center. Then the storm kind of goes around the high. There is some discussion about maybe some high water up in the Big Bend and our west coast when the storm goes by. It certainly is a possibility but generally speaking when storms go this way because of the physics, we don't get a ton of coastal flooding. Initially, the water's pushed away, and then the water has to come back, and there could be a couple of feet above average when that happens. We're going to watch for that late tomorrow, tomorrow night into Friday morning. But first things first, there's a storm 7 a.m. on the Fox model, moves up towards the Big Bend, then begins a turn to the north and northeast. These are predicted wind gusts. Again, not sustained. These are wind gusts. Again, 40 to 50, 50 to 60 wind gusts. There's the center moving across the area by 9 a.m. on Thursday. Rainfall is going to be pretty significant, running a couple of inches at least. Storm surge is underway on the east coast now, running three to five. And again, it's point of landfall north on our coast when a storm is coming this way like Ian, it's point of landfall south. It's, it's the other way when storms come on the east coast. Not much of a storm surge down by Miami. Maybe some up towards the Big Bend where the winds turn right here and start blowing this way. That's Friday at 5 a.m. We will watch for that. Here's rainfall potential. I mean, it makes sense. I think about two to four in most spots, maybe a few inches higher in a couple spots. That's really about it. So let's wrap it up. The forecast for tonight obviously is deteriorating weather from southeast to northwest. So just increasing wind and rain. Tropical storm is coming. We'll go cool. 66 for a low. Then tomorrow, uh, periods of heavy rain, tropical storm conditions in the mid 70s. Hopefully, y y you don't lose your power and you know, just be careful with tree limbs. There'll be some knocked down. I just, I just advise 
you just don't travel and, and you just watch radar on good day and kind of see how things uh, transpire during the morning. Wait for the heavy rain to pass, mid 70s. Then on Friday, breezy, mostly cloudy, passing showers in 80. Beyond that, a couple of cold fronts on the seven day. Got one on Sunday. We have low humidity on the way. Another one on Wednesday. Temperatures then low to mid 80s. We get rid of this mess tomorrow. The weather's on the improve on Friday. We're